everyone! I'm Patents and join me today to review the last episode of Into the Gloom. I'll say the last episode because Shadow Guy is there and staring at me and spooky and scary as hell. No, uh, for real because uh, we got already three endings. I know how to get the other two endings uh, because I've looked how and one was uh, the ending where you hang yourself after a shadowy guy was following you uh, real in front of the game and if you didn't help the knifey guy it, then then uh, the knifey guy would go back in your body as you and the other ending should be the good the really good ending so we're gonna go back god how can I go back or maybe like this I don't know. But oh, Jesus! <laughs> the worst ending ever. God, I forgot this. Is that the open door? So yeah, tick tock, tick tock. So okay. So you have actually to start a new game to do the real good ending that we we'll do we we'll do first. Did we really begin? I forgot it was this thing to get into a coma. I'm looking for the light that's down there. So the good ending, the really good ending that should be uh, reincarnation, no rebirth I think, something like that, going back in your body I think. It's supposed to get known when you're in the red plane and you look around better than I did because I was freaking scared. And you find the, uh, the bag of Dr. Warren's assistant and in there there's a code that's Dr. Warren's code for his house and there you need to use that code. Is this a dream or a nightmare? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We did this. Now someone's opened the door. Oh god, someone opened the door, my gosh, someone died in here, oh no! Oh no, I need to do get this, blah 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 blah. But you don't need to get like the tile and stuff like that. You don't need to use the, the code that's here, 394, but you need instead to use an R code that was inside the note from Dutch Warren Assistant that should be 485. So where was the code thing down here? Let's see if it's right. Four, eight, five. It's locked. I'm an idiot. I re I mistake everything. Uh, so it's three, eight, nine. Or two, nine, four. So I need to get to my thing. Blah blah blah. Get my home keys. Need to get out of this place. As you remember, I need to get the access card, so I need to do the pattern stuff. That's down here. Go here, put the tile. Okay, it's working now. So I can't remember how it was, but I think it should have dots in the middle. Oh no, I remember. So now I'm inside. So now I'm going upstairs. Try to go not here. Try to go up. Maybe more. Hoping to find a fifth. No, so it's not what I thought, but we need to find a way to go to apartment 42485 is the code. So this is the place. I won't go. Are you hung yourself there? Samara, Sata, Beta, what if I call yours? It's two, three, two, four. So this is one. So let's see. God damn it. He's watching. Fuck. Save yourself. Okay, you got a screwdriver, but I want to go downstairs. Can't remember. 
I don't know how to go up. Can't I use screwdriver? Or maybe it's too far? is back so can I use the elevator to go back up? See if we can go in 2-4. Oh maybe it's 2-5. 4 8 5 done. You see this is Dr. Warren's apartment. This is the device. Incarnation device. This is a unusual experiment. It is a more complex and powerful version of the incarnation device I have in the village lab. It works in the same way and will get you a body near the source in the real world, but due to its non-technological nature, it has a serious limitation regarding energy usage. It can only incarnate you into weak life forms, like small animals or insects. How the device work? I'm not entirely I'm not entering the details for it's a very complex technology. The only thing you must know is that it will activate when you press the big red button near a valid target or warn. See? So now we've got the device and we need to go my apartment is 51, so we need to go up. If I'm not mistaken. So this is first power. You see, it's just one button would bring me down. I want to go down. The fuck? What was that down there? Why can't it go up? Like, why it's so blocked? The guy's hanging. Yeah, I read the thing, and we need to go down and make the, ch the shadow chase us. That sucks. I hate. I hate it when the shadow sh chase us. So I think maybe I'll make just one ending. And the other ending in the other video is taking really long time. The shadow's following me. God damn it. I freaking don't remember the road. Come on shadowy guy, I'm running, run run shadow, so I managed to skip the shadow now. Oh god, look at that guy. Are you the knifey guy? Oh god damn it, I never saw him. Here's the shadowy guy down there. And if you want to get the other ending, you don't have to free him. So, where is the knife guy? I don't know if he's like down here. Yeah, he's down there. I don't know if you've killed me, like... So, it looks like the power is back. So, I didn't free the knifey guy, so I don't know if he's... If he'll follow me or something. I hope he would do anything to me. Because he's still down there, isn't he? Look at him. Look at me. And... Not freeing him is vile for having the other ending. So I don't know if he'll follow me like. Oh no, I think he stayed in there. I think. So I remember going this way. Not down this 
the metro because everything is closed but down here so no one got me so the guy is there like there is oh yeah there's a part and yeah, I remember where to die the one when when the shadow guy follows you probably won't hear this part talking oh murder article Mark Harrison was sentenced to death the past Tuesday after being finally apprehended by the FBI during his 21st homicide. The murder last target was an old man in his apartment. The reason of his murder is still no rumors of the local said that the serial killer survived a little injection during the execution and the authorities destroyed the evidence by exposing the corpse. However, the authorities negated the such incident and said they had delivered the body to his family. So I didn't read this last time. God, will you stop, piece of shit? I need to find the fire extinguisher, not this way, where is it? Oh! So this is a part where we find the end. So there should be a, a locked door around here. If I'm not mistaken. There is the boat. I don't know if you go upstairs, but I think not. I'm gonna look around here. Should be a locked door. Here it is. Now it's locked. I didn't, never saw this. So this should be... Building. I need to go to 5. To my apartment. So 3F. 4F. I think this should be 5F. My apartment is 51 5251 five, So this is my apartment This is the terrarium is which is where my iguana, iguana used to live So this is where the character used to live This should be my bed So will I go back? Oh, probably still I'm an P here Hereby declare I sell this apartment of two James S for the sum of $250,000 at the date of April 18th, 2015. The, proper, the property is the apartment 51 Great Rocket Residence, located in Oswald Wave, Third Main, which consists of one bathroom, two bedrooms, a main hall, and a kitchen. So I need to get my device and use it on my bed. Is it on my iguana? Well, let's see if this device works. Yay! So it says animals, so I thought it would be iguanas. Ugh, disgusting. Just be me. But then the end, sorry, like a good ending. I thought it would be the true good ending. He's screaming. Reincarnation. Oh, fuck. This was the worst ending. Rebirth was the best one. I think it was the longest one. But Jesus, reincarnation was hell. So now, now we're going to see. Yeah, I know. We already saw this. We're going to see the, the last ending. We miss. You see, we have endings. This one. Reincarnation. Oh, return is down there. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> I thought something good. Something better. So. I'm gonna go back here. And the ending here is like doing loads of stuff. So, see you in the part, in the chasing part where. Uh, you need to go and hang yourself. Okay, we're finally here. Ready to run. Let's run, 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 Rupert. Run, 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 run. No, I rambled something, but I have a shadowy guy behind. You run right away, then right. Gotta remember this. Three seven two.
There he is. Oh god! No, he got me. <laughs> god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> fuck. God, I'm sweating from fear. Oh, god, look. God, Jesus. It's pure terror. God. Oh, so scared. Run, run. Need to hang myself really soon and get the last ending of this game. Where is it? Kill yourself. I know, I know, I know what to do. Why are you crying? I don't know, I didn't read that thing. I think he's far, like. Okay, I'll... I'll be dead. Free. So this should be the last ending of this game. The thick talk of the clock continued its march without stopping. Isn't the same like when he died? At a relentless pace that showed the inexorable power of time in the face of the people. Yeah, yeah, go away. Many events happened that Ethan family savings decreased paying the expensive hospital fees until it became untenable. Ethan continued being stuck in his world of darkness, suffering the torment of the parallel life he had. When in our present, his body lied in earth to the stimuli that continually tried to reanimate him, keeping alive the hope of waking him up. Only the medical equipment kept him tied to life. However, when his brain stopped showing activity and with all family's savings depleted, Doctors recommended disconnecting him, ending his suffering. A heartbreaking cry full of distress came from the depressed of his mother and toes. A cry so deep that it transcended to the, the barriers of dimensions, reaching Ethan miraculously in the last second before disconnecting the machines that kept him alive, that kept him tied to his disworld. Ethan reacted and with a weak impulse from his brain followed by a faint and sloppy movement of his fingers. His tired mother noticed that and told the doctors and they could finally wake him up. Yay! His mind came back hollowed and lost. He couldn't recognize or remember anything. Many blurry and painful images came to his mind. However, there was no relation with the present. No familiar faces, there were no friends or relatives. Only the deep and emaciated face of his mother woke on him, unexplainable joy and confidence helping him on his new beginning. So it's not a knifey guy inside his body. Maybe the knife guy was the other ending. Oh, okay. Now he's awakening to a world full of light and the world where Ethan knew he would have to start again. Thanks for playing. So this is the good ending. Yeah. So we finally made it. Really great game. So we have everything. I'm just gonna check the notes. Just one note missing. The second one. I think you got all of them. No, just one missing. So, let me know what you think about this game. We saw all the endings. Uh, really happy of it. We've got the good ending. I thought the other one was a good ending, but it wasn't. So, became an iguana and cried for no reason <laughs> so uh, that's all folks for this series and thank you so much for watching it hope you enjoyed it I really enjoyed it and I suggest you to play the game it's really fun and scary with the headphones and loud volume 
and see you in the next series. Bye bye.